What it is, guys, it's your Dino. We're back at again with another review, so let's just get straight into it. This review is for Grime and the Color of Rot expansion. We're going to kick it straight off with the accessibility, so let's just get straight into that one. It has nothing. That's just my opinion. It's not got anything in the way of actual accessibility. My benchmark for this is always going to be right now the God of War Ragnarok accessibility it completely crushed it on that one. But Grime has nothing in the way of accessibility in that way. It has the only, the only things that you can do are remap the controllers, turn down Bloom, turn off screen shakes, and that's basically it. I don't think that that is anywhere near the level of accessibility that we need to be seeing in the gaming industry nowadays because gaming should bring us all together so we can play together and have fun. That being said, I'm sure that there is a way that they could probably improve that by doing some update or something that will add those features in at a later date. Now, we will get into the customization of the game. The game doesn't have much in the way of designing the character, so to speak, as you like build a character, it doesn't do that, not in the traditional sense. What it does give you, however, is the ability to customize the weapons you use and customize the glamours, for the back of lack of a better word to put it, you can put on three different glamours or cosmetic items as you find them throughout the world to change the appearance of the crime character that you play. I don't know what to describe him as. The anthropomorphic, no head having main character that you play. He has no head, obviously, as I said, and he's anthropomorphic. It doesn't really have a gender decide, designed to him or her or whatever you want to call it. It's just a, a slab of meat kind of thing. And that's basically what it is. Now, that being said, I think that that is a good thing. The fact that the customization is not based on gender and you can basically design the character as you want if you find the cosmetics. Now, when it comes down to the way that the game plays and it's overworld, it is a Metroidvania styled Dark Souls kind of thing hybridization and i don't think it's a bad thing the gameplay is very well done and i do feel that the game can give you lots of gameplay and fun and enjoyment i do like the the color palette that was used in the game it's really nice colors and it lends to the aesthetic that they're trying to get across that this is a gross macabre kind of like macabre this destroyed kind of like refigured kind of thing that uh, things aren't pretty and aesthetically pleasing it's the underbelly the gross the grime kind of thing that it's going for yes i know i said the name of the game again but it's just the best adjective to describe what the the art style is with this in my opinion i do feel that they've done a very good job with the enemy models they have got quite a different plethora of models that you can attack and the enemies that you have to come up against they've done a really good job in that aspect the way that the game plays doesn't really lend towards telling you what you need to do you're just dropped into this world and you have to just learn by doing now there are games out there that do this in a good way and there are some games that will do it in a bad way Personally, I think that they've done this in a good way. In this one, an example of them doing it in the bad way would be Scorn. Scorn just is a pillar of just badness, in my opinion. I've done a review of that, and you can check that out up there. And don't forget, guys, it's greatly appreciated if you do support the channel by hitting that subscribe button and ringing the ding -ling bell. Greatly appreciate. All links will be down below as well. You can check those out if they are available. Now, I don't think that they've done a very bad job in any aspect of this game it just feels like certain things were not a focus so obviously accessibility wasn't a focus in my opinion the combat is very well done i do like the way they've done that i feel that the overall story 
air quotes that they've designed for the game is in essence very well done you learn by doing and you experience the story by playing they have characters that you can interact with and i feel that they've they've got something that could be akin to a cult classic here i do think it's got some potential to do quite well definitely within the dark souls community this might be one that they'd play a lot now i would say that in my final thoughts on this one it would be that this is a game that has a potential niche following in the dark souls community or in the metroidvania community and i would recommend this to fans of either of those genres or to a content creator who likes those styles of games i would also say that this game is something that doesn't have a high difficulty rating i found it quite easy to play through it didn't feel like overly challenging there were some moments where i did mess up but that was through user error not through the game being too difficult i would love to have known more about the game as you played through it doesn't really lend you to more of a explanative way of conversing with you the gamer you have to just stumble along and try and find stuff i don't think that's a bad thing but i do feel that it is a missed opportunity to convey and connect with the gamer who is playing the game in a way that could help those less able to know what is going on now my recommendations would be for the developers to create more accessibility features into the game via an update or an or a free up or free expansion called the accessibility expansion because aiming should bring everyone together not isolate people that's just my opinion if i was to rate this game on a fun factor scale i definitely would give it say a three out of five it's middle of the road some people may like it some people won't it's just one of those i do feel that they have some quirky unique things about it that i enjoyed personally that's just my personal preference i know it's always going to be subjective for other people but if you do have a difference of opinion please sound off in the comments let's have a discussion about it i really do like engaging with you guys and finding out where you stand on this one and what you enjoyed from it if you have played the game let me know or if you don't want to really go into much detail leave an emoji in the chat in the comment section it helps all forms of engagement are great for all channels don't forget like comment and share i greatly appreciate all the love and support we are live on the channel six days a week tuesday through to sunday all links down in the description will be down there and as always guys greatly appreciate all the love and support that you give to the channel and remember be safe be well have fun gaming or creating whatever you may do and have a good one and i will see you in the next one take care bye guys